This is the first wind in the Gambia after the first wind. Today I'm driving towards Westfield to show you how the roads are like after the first wind. It was raining yesterday night and uh, I could not show you whether it is flooding or not uh, as usual. But uh, today morning, uh, this is how the traffic is like. You could see uh, the sand that is on the road is causing a lot of mud on the road. So it's going to effectively reduce the size of the road or usable size of the road because all vehicles will be jam-packed towards the area that's not muddy. If I check on the left side right there, you could see uh, water logs on the road. And uh, luckily, they've been doing some cleaning of the gutters right before the rains or but right before the rain starts so maybe that would really help this time i i, I would say uh, usually that's done but i don't know whether it's done to the extent it's done this time because it was done really quick really um early it also helped that the rain uh did not start early this year so it uh, it gives us uh, it gives the authorities enough time to clean the gutters uh so let's keep moving uh, like if i check on this other side you can see some mud stuff on the road and this other side is a bit better though it's still sandy on the left side market area you could see some uh, garbage being piled up uh, after cleaning the market area okay on the junction right there as well you can see some people will just come and drop these garbages on the road uh, for the KMC to come pick it up okay for the KMC to come pick it up uh, yeah so you could see more water logs on the road and usually I think this is caused by the sun like the sun the water doesn't have you know the, uh, the free flow and on the other left side you could see this road has been maintenance a little bit about a year ago uh, it's been concreted instead of using the tar as we are as on the right side over here and the left side is concreted so that expected to get some little bit of dust and dirt piled up on the road so when water gets there it's gonna be really muddy like you would see right here on the you see everywhere is full of sand and mud and the vehicles will be carrying those waters and stuff from the sandy area all the way down the road okay so if i get close to this other side i'm gonna use the you can see the vehicles are avoiding the, the water lock right there so a jamming park on the left side causing traffic uh, disruption over here you can see the road is free, free actually but because of this water over here okay because of the water over here vehicles are not using this side of the road so everybody is parked on the left side on a long queue when the road is actually free so you see a lot of these signs on the road cause a lot of Mods. Let's keep moving all the way down to around Westway and see how uh, the condition of the road. More water on the road. The drainage on the water, uh, the drainage on the road itself uh, is not perfect, uh, so that will also keep some part of the water on the road. We are still on the Eid days. Today is the third day of Eid. This time in the Gambia, Eid was celebrated like two and two different days. Uh, in fact, that is kind of usual. Uh, we're getting used to that now. Some will, some uh, celebrated Eid on West on on Sun. Is it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. And some did it on Monday. So you could see. Yesterday was the second day of Eid for some people. I think even Talending area over here. Yeah, some people Talending, uh, um, Ebotan area. Some celebrated their Eid on the Monday. So the traffic is still. Some people are still resting from the Eid. You know, fatigue Eid, like 
work stress and everything and this is the hot area when it rains uh Chichistan, right here you could see uh not um yeah you could see a lot of water around everywhere okay so yeah i was saying the traffic is free because uh you could see uh because it's because of the e yeah it's because of the e so yeah more water over here this side also used to have a lot of water because of the poor drainage you can see waters on the left side fully and this rain stops like um i think around 1 a.m at night and today it is right now it's like 8 uh yeah 8 o'clock 8 a.m so you can see waters on the road still maybe it was raining here at the later part of the night but around the areas that I live, the rain stops somewhere around 1 o'clock, I think late is 2 o'clock. It's nice to have a traffic like this or to have the road free like this. So you can see some people are trying to create the drainage or clear the drainage. Maybe yesterday they were really suffered uh, with uh, water. That is the uh, road to Sarikunda Road or Sarikunda Highway. You can see a big pit over here. So that's going to attract a lot of water. So yeah. This is Westfield. I'm gonna take a left turn over here. Right there, you can see more water. And we used to experience a lot of uh, kind of a flooding uh, when the rain when it rains heavily here at uh, Westfield uh, like we used to do it every year I uh, will try to show you the flooding areas this is gonna be good for the authorities to see where uh, like where the water floods or where, where the areas that flood that experience flood so that uh, maybe there's something can be done about it all right so this is what I want to show you today in this video I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative see you in the next one